Amos chapter 3 verse 7 For the Lord does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants the prophets. Father Michel Rodriguez says, After this period of compulsory confinement due to virus outbreak, life will resume its course. The summer period will open a window of time where we will be able to prepare well for the coming test, that of being with Jesus on the cross. We cannot see the glorious cross without encountering the cross with Jesus. You must now consecrate your house or apartment to the Eternal Father through the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Mary if you have not done so. We must regularly bless our places, our homes, with exercised holy water. During this summer, you need to prepare a food supply for three months with drinking water too. You will need to have made your general confession before the fall. The prayer of the Holy Rosary of St. Michael the Archangel and that of your guardian angels will be your comfort, your strength, your protection. Be prepared for the great day upon you, Christians. Now you will hear an explanation from our Lord that confusion has been done to the devil planting his seeds. Unfortunately, he has not encountered any opposition to his idea. Although we shouldn't be afraid, this should keep us on our toes. Even if his attacks are quite cunning, they look to be nearly pleasant. We are grateful that the Holy Spirit keeps us aware of the truth. May he always be the voice we hear and the one who keeps us rooted in God's truth. My brothers and sisters, based on what I read and heard, a wonderful day is on the horizon. Who among us wouldn't die to experience the truth triumphing today? even if it is just for a brief time. Who among us hasn't prayed for God to step in and restore justice to the world? Now, our Lord Jesus says, Be at ease, my child. I am your Lord, God, and Father. The seeds have been planted and are still being planted. My son, since the big harvest is upon you, all that is hidden will be disclosed as I have already stated. As in the days of the great deluge, a great light of truth is about to shine upon mankind, but many people are not prepared for what is to follow. All sins will be known on that day, or should I say instant of cleansing, and every grace required for conversion will be given. My child, you may relax, because I am your Lord, God, and Father. My son, the enormous harvest is upon you, and the seeds have been planted and continue to be planted. As I said, all that is concealed will be revealed. A tremendous light of truth is going to shine upon mankind, much like it did during the days of the great flood. But many people are not ready for it. On that day, or should I say moment of cleaning, every sin will be recognized and every grace necessary for conversion will be granted. This is a day to rejoice because many people will repent and join the real believers where they will be rescued. My children, make this your daily prayer to emulate the wise virgins who were prepared when called. My tiny ones, pray for this, 
and I'll be more than pleased to respond in love and joy. My tiny ones, pray for this, and I'll be more than pleased to respond in love and joy. Keep your attention on this, because the devil has worked very hard to undermine your capacity to recognize the truth. Due to his interpretation of dropping the seeds, mankind and the planet are currently in a state of enormous disarray. Fear not, because I am coming for what is mine, and you, my children, belong to me. He has created a world full of uncertainty, and a significant lack of faith has spread from his message of death. You have the choice between life and death as I have spoken. Choose life, my children. That's all, my son. Now go tell others to be ready because the big day is coming. Amen. I love you. Can you tell me the whereabouts of the individual who will be covered and saved from the terrible disasters and judgments that are now upon us? Only those who respect their priesthood and who are deserving of their blessings can enjoy the safety and protection. Only they are made of mortal material. No one else has a right to be exempt from these verdicts. They are right outside our doors, and not even this group of individuals will be completely safe. It is not enough to simply be free and independent. You must also make use of your advantages such that they benefit your well-being and financial security if you want to keep your blessings. You have a responsibility to defend and preserve your freedom. You must be morally upright and smart. You must control your nature according to his kingdom's principles. You must uphold all of Christ's commandments to be courageous in your witness of him. Will you count yourself among the devoted till the very end? Can you persevere? Is it possible to live in the world without engaging in its sins? Will you, as the Lord has ordered, arise and shine forth? Will you serve as a standard for the nations and a light? We are confident in your ability. We ask that you do. We are very certain that you, the rising generation, won't flinch. Once again, you are brave souls saved for this unique occasion. Decide. Accept the challenge of this critical moment. I respectfully announce to you as a particular witness of our Lord that he is alive and near his servants. Whether spoken by his voice or the voices of his slaves, his word shall not fade away, but shall all be accomplished." I attest that you can trust him to keep his word. Our Lord said that he will return at a time when he's least expected. People will be going about their day-to-day -day interests without spiritually preparing their lives when he comes again. So, they will not be ready and therefore surprised on that day. It's much like not being prepared if a thief were to break into your home at night while you're fast asleep. You would not want to be caught off guard if you woke up, shocked to see a thief looking back at you. Jesus is the Christ. God is alive. 
the greatest event to take place on this earth since the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ involved these two celestial beings making an appearance to Joseph Smith. In the name of Jesus Christ, I offer my witness to you, my cherished brethren and sisters. Amen.